Today, we're going to be sharing a tool with you. And I have everything here to show you. This is by Music Nomad. This is brand new. This is the Safe Zone Fret Crowning Tool. Now, why is this so interesting? Well, if you guys uh, know, a lot of Stumac tools that are pretty good, they make something called the Z file. Z file is a very good file. This is a hundred dollar file. And the Z file is probably one of the most talked about crowning files in the industry. And I think it's just been made obsolete by definitely the home hobbyist, but even your regular So the Z file, file, it's a diamond file. So because it doesn't have its traditional teeth, like a regular file, you can go in both directions. Kind of just crown round over the frets. Why that's important is after you level the frets, we always say crown level, but it's really level and then crown. Once you level a high fret or all your frets have their new frets, you need to round them back over. The reason is, is because you want the surface, the top of the fret to be, to have as little contact with the string as possible, okay? It just helps the intonation and uh, it just helps uh, the guitar perform better. The folks at Music Nomad came up with this thing called the Safe Zone file. Now it also is a diamond file, so you can go in both directions. I like the Z file, it's two-sided, and that's to make it so you can pretty much cover every fret size. So one side will be more of a narrow medium size frets for your vintage to medium frets, and then the other side will be your wider fret wire, and you can kind of get a feel for it each side, but you're going to be able to cover every type of fret wire. What they did that's crazy, it's such a great idea, I wish I would have thought of it, I wish somebody would have thought of it years ago too. They made it to where when they did the diamond on the file, they left the center with no material. Let me show you, because I can talk about that for an hour. Let me show you something. Let's take this guitar right here, and I've already kind of went through this guitar, and it has a high fret somewhere right there. Okay, so we have a high fret right here. Okay, so that's our ninth fret. A few months ago, I showed you this amazing tool called the Fret Kisser. This is by Stu Mac. Now, currently, Music Nomad doesn't have a product like this. What this is, is a fret rocker, like we just used on the ninth fret right here. So here's a fret rocker showing its hide. The fret kisser is a fret rocker, also has diamond file on it. And so that when you find a spot, and I've showed this before, you can just file down that spot. Okay. Now, there's a ton of different ways. If you don't want to spend $100 for a fret kisser, you can make one with sandpaper using about 350 to 400 grit. And let's check it now to see if we've corrected that. Still high. And I'm doing, hold on, let me. Now what's important is, I'm also doing this fret work on a guitar with stainless steel frets. A lot of times people ask me if you need special tools for stainless steel frets, you don't. Stainless steel frets can just wear down your tools faster, and so you're gonna get less life out of your tools. Okay, so let's check again. All right, and then to double check with this fret rocker, and just a little bit, we almost got all of it with this fret kissing tool. So, whoops. So it's gonna be a little bit more stubborn. And now we don't have, let me just double check. Yeah, we don't have any high frets. In the past, what happened is you would use something like the fret kisser, and then you could use like the Z file, and you could just round over the fret, but what they did at Music Nomad is they made it pretty much uh, dummy proof. So let's go ahead, these are jumbo frets, to the 12 fret. What you can do on this one, and I want you to listen. Almost. Wow, that's really nice. So what it does is you keep going until the sound changes. And you can hear it now, hear the sound is, it's not, it's not, it's not scratchy. So now you have a perfectly rounded fret in fact, I dare say better than the other frets. I almost want to, I'm going to do all the frets because this is actually a superior fret. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This fret is more rounded than these other ones, which again 
is going to improve everything from intonation to playability. So now at this point, you can use uh, steel wool. I would cover up the pickups. Or uh, I like micro mesh. And you can buy this at Stumac, but I buy this at on uh, Amazon. And it starts at 1500 and it goes to 12,000. And I fold it over on the side like this. And then I use a fret guard. Okay. And now I just polish that fret using micro mesh. Now, some of you guys are going to have preferences of tools of sanding blocks or uh, polishing. You can use fret erasers, whatever you like, but this is what I like. And essentially, well, it's already a thousand times better. And we're just going to keep going. So obviously, go to the next one. Now, with stainless steel frets, I still recommend using some steel wool. I find that it really helps with stainless steel frets. Okay, and then we're going to double check that since we know it looks good now. Yeah, nice. There's another cool little feature here. If you look here, you see these lines? That's in case, let's say you have a spot. Let's say that same spot. Let's say you have a spot where just the part of the fret's a little high. All you would do is, let's say this spot right here is high. You would put the line right above that and just work that spot. So you can actually do uh, not only just a fret with this, all the frets with this, but even a part of a fret with this. That's how detailed this is. It even has holes so you can hang it. Let me hang it where my glasses go. There you go. That's it. You can't mess up your frets. That's now I've went ahead and I tried this a ton of different ways. And here's what I can tell you. They're right. You really, I don't want to say can't. It's really hard. As of the time of filming this video, these sell for about $79.99. That's a pretty expensive tool. Keep in mind though, that you, you are gonna spend at least that to get work like this done. This tool will pay for itself very quickly uh, the second time you, you, you do it. Um, it is a fantastic tool. And I know, I just gotta tell you, I can't recommend enough if you are at home, even though these, this tool is over $100, about $100, these two tools, Literally, this and some steel wool or some micro mesh, anybody can make their frets as perfect. And that's the important part. I don't mean just get them playable. You can make them as perfect as any tech I know. So uh, it's impressive. This is literally a very, very cool idea. Okay, so before I go any further, I just wanna let you know that this video gets previewed to patron members and channel members, and they get to ask questions and give suggestions, and they had a pretty interesting question. The quality, how are they, how do they feel? Well, interestingly enough, the Music Nomad is heavier. I dare say almost twice as heavy, uh, at least by feel. So it feels very quality. Other thing that's cool is it has this, feels like silicon rubber coating around it, and everything is imprinted, and not just like silk screened on like the Z file. So over time, I've wore off a ton of my logos and stuff off my Stumac files. So um, one thing that's nice is that won't happen with the Music Nomad. The only significant quality uh, that I need to talk about is the diamond flake on this Music Nomad file is not as fine as the Z file. When I've been filing with these, both these files on a fret, whether it's nickel or stainless steel, what I notice your polish work at the end is a little bit less with the Z file. However, this angle right here is just really interesting to get around. So the question was, which one do I prefer? I can tell you this, if given the choice, if me given the choice of the two, I would have, I would have picked just this one, knowing what I know now. So I hope that helps a little. On that note, as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for your time. To the next time, know your gear.